Hey everyone, now in today's video, what I wanna do is I wanna show you guys how you can basically clone any type of app interface you find, whether that be ChatGPT, Claude, Perplexity, or something like Framer or Webflow or Zapier. Nowadays, it's becoming so easy to basically create different types of apps, right? With tools like Replit, for example. So why not just clone a app interface of a you know brand that already was working pretty well but most of these ai designs that you you know create in replit or lovable or bolt they all pretty much look the same right they have like these gradients they have like this interfont they have the same type of spacing same type of colors and then bring this into magic path where you can kind of reiterate with ai redesign specific sections add new sections and so on and so forth and before I start the video, I would love to invite you guys to my Discord community. It's a free Discord community where a bunch of startup founders, designers, developers, marketers hanging out together. We basically do live calls every single weekday where you can ask me different questions. We can talk about different tools, different types of topics in this AI um, you know, realm. So if that's something interesting for you guys, feel free to join and you know we can chat over there. Anyways, the first app interface that I want to copy is the one that's pretty much simple, right? You have a sidebar with different icons over here. You can, you have this plus icon, you have this home, discover spaces, and then down here you have more of like the settings icon. So account settings, upgrading, installing. Um, I don't even know what this is, installing something. Okay, installing an app for your mobile device or for your desktop. And then here in the middle we have perplexity, we have the brand name, and then we have this main call to action, this main space that that is that the user will use to ask perplexity something, right? So, and then we have these colors, right? We have this light blue color, we have this color and hover, we have this color and this kind of like faded out color over here. And so kind of the first thing that we need to translate or that we need to kind of understand here is the design system, right? So what type of color they're using, what type of font they might be using. You can see that it's like a gray and like a lighter gray over here. So we need to kind of define that. And a great place to, to do that is TweakCN, right? So we have this tweakcn.com slash AI, and it's a new feature where you can basically upload an image from a screenshot that you might take, for example. And as you can see, we have from an image, we have flat design, minimal design, minimal style, brutalist vibe. So basically what, what TweakCN is, is it's a library, right? You can basically choose different types of like design systems and, and make them in your own style. But now over here, we can take a screenshot from another screen and integrate it here and ask it to create a design system based off of that screenshot. So we're gonna be doing that with, with perplexity. I'm actually gonna hover over something so we, we see more colors. And then I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. And then where it says image, I'm just gonna click on this. And as you can see, the image is attached. So I'm just gonna start describing my theme. Or actually, we're not gonna describe the theme. Let's actually just submit just to see what we get. And then we actually get the perplexity design system, right? We get the same colors. Um, we get a very similar type of gray over here and dark gray in the background. We even have a light version that looks like this, pretty much looks very perplexity style. And then once you're done with that, what, what you can do here is just click on this code over here, click on copy. We copy this index.css. And then inside of Magic Path, which is basically my favorite AI design tool because it's it's kind of like if Figma and ChatGPT had a baby, right? It takes the best of both worlds. So you can basically like create designs with AI from scratch. And you can also use like image references and integrate design systems like what we're about to do. So up here in design system, I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna click on import and just, I'm just gonna paste this in, click on apply. And we're gonna save this and we're gonna call this perplexity. Save design system. And now all we have to do is just double click somewhere, just zoom in a bit. I'm gonna choose this perplexity design system that I, that I imported. I'm also going to give it this screenshot from before as a reference. And I'm gonna tell Magic Path to basically build out an app interface that does the exact same thing as what perplexity does. So I'm gonna say build out an AI chat tool that navigates the web and provides me answers with sources. Please use a dark mode, right? Because we have this design system, um, this perplexity one, and we have the light mode, and we also have the dark mode here. So over here, you can kind of toggle that and you can see that the dark mode actually looks really good. All right, and then we're gonna click on submit and we're gonna see Magic Path 
loading up the design. You can see that it starts planning the design, updating the layout. And even before you give it a prompt, um, basically you can chat with the AI just to ask it, you know, if uh, what, what their idea is about adding additional pages, specific functions. You can ask it if it really understands what it's trying to build. So that's also a great tip to start off with. All right, and basically after generating, we get something that looks like this, right? We can again go ahead and select specific sections. Like for example, we wanna maybe tweak something over here. You can see that these are kind of like left aligned. We wanna make them more center aligned. We can select this and we can align this over here to the middle. We can also select one of these, for example, and make them a little less bright, a little bit darker, for example, like this maybe. You can kind of see that it goes darker and you can apply that to the rest of them. And we can go to the actual perplexity website and kind of see the differences. For example, we have like this nice borderline. We can apply that as well. So I can just grab this, go like that, and then we can add a stroke. Let's add a stroke of one and give it the same color as this as a text basically. And we can adjust the opacity to be much less. Then we can start seeing that we get this, the stroke opacity looking nice. And then going back here, what we can do is we can even copy these this logo as an SVG and bring that into Magic Path. So we can just go like this, for example, go select this div, this SVG. And as you can see, we get the Perplexity brand logo over here on the left. So that's great, right? So that's a great start in order to basically clone this, this uh, app interface. Now what's great about Magic Path is that what you can do is you can basically create different views of this specific component, right? Let's say you want to create the discover page once you click on it or the spaces page. So let's just do that. So we can say create a discover page that opens once the user clicks on discover on the left panel. So now, for example, if I were to reload this or once it finishes loading, we can click on the discover page and we can see, all right, discover browse by category updated five minutes ago. Then we have different trending. Uh, options. We can also get this edit component tool and for example, grab this div, make it flex. And as you can see, we can adjust the, the, the layout of this specific section, click on save. Now what we can also do is create different flows. So for example, we can create a flow that happens after the user searches. So we can create like a search results page. For example, if we click over here, create a page that shows the user's search results. We can also say to include images, to include like videos, reliable sources. And we can say, you know, give the user the ability to share this to their social network. Once we're done with that, we can just click on enter. And once that's loading at the same time, what we can do is we can even create flows. So we can go over here and create a flow. For example, we can create some type of flow, like an onboarding flow, like what Airbnb has. And this has like, I would say four, four to five steps or something. So we can just say, Let's go back into magic path and say, create an onboarding flow with four steps, right? Then we click on enter. And for the onboarding, uh, onboarding flow, we have something looking like this. Welcome to AI search. You know, you can basically go step by step has four different steps, just like we prompted to have. There are a few things over here that it added like some little elements over here that we could go ahead and just remove by just clicking on this and going delete element. Also with this one as well, just deleting this, clicking on save. And regarding the next one, we get something like this, which is pretty crazy because it basically gets the reference that we added it from perplexity. So we, we can see our search term, we can get, you know, these are basically the different tabs. And again, on these flows, we can create these different views. So if we wanted to create an images pages or images tab, we can ask it to do so. And so as you can see now, I click on images and we get, you know, a feed of different images similar to like a Google images feed where we get like this grid of this different images. And you can do the same thing for sources, for steps and for much, much more. And what's also cool is that you can get any one of these designs and you can basically just, you know, command C, command V, you basically paste it on the side and you can get this and just go and create any different type of design with any type of design system that you've created. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it from my side. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. So again, you know, use TweakCN to basically bring in any type of website screenshot that you find, doesn't matter how hard it is or how complex it is. It does a great job. 
and then bring that into Magic Path to basically create different designs for your app interface, or if you just want to clone an existing app interface, give it that image reference and it'll do a great job as it did over here. So yeah, guys, hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.